got tagged in a tweet yesterday and the more I read about it, the more it sends a chill down my spine. Yes, let's talk about Pegasus. So what is Pegasus? Fun fact, because that might be the only fun thing in this whole video. The Android version of Pegasus is called Chrysaor and I might have pronounced that incorrectly. Why? Because I am no Greek, but these two words are from Greek mythology and Pegasus and Chrysaor were brothers. So coming back to the question, what is Pegasus? Pegasus is what you know as the most sophisticated spyware created by NSO from Israel. They only sell it to authorized governments, do not authorized should be in double quotes and it costs millions of dollars which is why if you think that your neighbor might be spying on you or your ex-girlfriend might be spying on you or your ex-boyfriend might be using Pegasus to spy on you, not happening. Next up, if you think that iPhone, iOS is more secure, Android is less secure, let go of that myth because Pegasus can exploit iPhone. In fact, it can exploit iOS up till 14.6. Android, of course, can also be exploited, but yeah. So that myth should also be out of the window that if I buy an iPhone, I will be safe from Pegasus. Why was Pegasus developed? Pegasus was developed or it is sold as a tool to prevent terrorist attacks. The intentions are good, but we humans, so we, we spoil everything. What does Pegasus do? It basically turns your phone into a surveillance machine. Once your phone is infected with Pegasus, they can read your SMS, they can read your emails, they can see your pictures, videos, they can access your camera, microphone, location. They can check your keystrokes. Yep, they can monitor your keystrokes as well. So the worst case situation, whatever the worst things you can think of if somebody is spying on you using your phone, those things can happen. With Pegasus, that is what the job of Pegasus is. Now, how does Pegasus work? But before that, because I forgot about it, the tweet in which I was tagged in, I'm not going to take any names because I do respect the person, but humbly, very humbly in this case, you are absolutely wrong and there is no point in making fun of it the way you did. Those are my two cents about it. This brings us to the million dollar question. How does Pegasus work? Before that, I do have to give you some background about bugs and exploits. So what is a bug? Anything which is not functioning as coded or as expected in a software is known as a bug. Let us say I have my phone over here, right? and I go into Chrome application and herein if I say try to type something of course you know night mode is on so if I try to say type H and it does not type H instead it types B that is a bug in that software but those are not the bugs which Pegasus or NSO are concerned about they are concerned about security bugs which are called exploits every software has bugs every software has exploits that's a fun fact nobody can come and claim my software is bug free if they do they are geniuses but anyways every software has bugs so let us assume this red person here is apple this person here is google this person here is my friend nso from israel or pegasus and these three here are bugs or security exploits because that is what Pegasus is after security exploits now there are researchers out there who look for security issues and Google Apple most big companies out there have a bounty program wherein if you find a security exploit in their software and you tell them about it they will pay you good money yes they are going to pay you good money if you find security issues in their software whether it be say google messages chrome imessage facetime the operating system as a whole if you find 
an exploit in that report it to google apple they're gonna pay you good money people do that people do make a lot of money which is why they release security patches which is why it is good to have a device which gets the latest security patch looking at xiaomi with their quarterly security patches and yes this is why it is super important to know that you are paying for software as well coming back to topic so there are security researchers out there who go ahead and say report this exploit in apple operating system ios or say their app to apple they get paid apple patches it right similarly you have somebody who finds something in android reports it to google they patch it but with good there is always evil right which is where nso and pegasus come into the picture they also have their own security researchers and they also look for exploits the only difference they don't report it and if an exploit is not reported to either apple or google or whoever's software has the exploit that my dear friends is known as a zero day exploit so a zero day exploit is something which the coder the person who owns the application is not aware of but somebody else is and in this case the zero day exploit is owned by pegasus or nso and this is super important because the other day i made a video about iphone or ios jailbreak being a million dollar industry yes if pegasus cannot find the bug or say i find an exploit and i want more money i can always contact pegasus instead of google and apple and get paid more it's all about the money honey quote is very appropriate here right so i can be good i can be evil sell my exploit which i found to pegasus for more money now these two people can now leave the picture right we don't need them anymore so pegasus here has the exploit which they are looking for maybe they have a bunch of them and they are called zero day exploits because google and apple do not know about these bugs once you have those exploits how do you deliver them so there are two ways of delivering it one is called with a click and one is zero click so with a click let us say you get a sms message on your phone saying that oh we have a new offer for you you might click on that it will take you to some website which might take you to another website and in the middle of all of this something is delivered on your device why because you have a data connection it is accessing the internet the url put something in your device which then exploited it and turned it into a surveillance machine and this is what is called a payload so a payload was delivered to your device exploited it now your phone has been converted into a surveillance machine because you clicked on a malicious link solution do not click on malicious links or do not click on links which you are not sure of but what sends a chill down my spine and it sends it right now as well when i'm talking about this is the zero click ones once i read yesterday's tweet i was like maybe this is correct but unfortunately there's no point in making fun of it because zero click exploits exist another example of a zero click exploit would be say you stream music from apple music on your device that's it and i am not talking out of my behind over here i have links for all of these in the description of the video so yeah zero click exploit is like the worst of it because you cannot do anything about it you're using your phone normally just that the combination of an exploit in the operating system an exploit in an application they combine it together and you have a zero click exploit and the worst or the most dangerous part about zero click exploit is that pegasus is now smart enough to self destruct so they spy on you they get the information they need and once you reboot your device pegasus is gone why because they are so confident that they have a working zero click exploit that they can track you again or exploit you again so all these things do send a chill down my spine and should not be made fun of because it is happening and of course which is why there is always this battle between security researchers and the dark side and the yoda side
and how do you you know prevent yourself from all of this trust me if somebody or a government has to spy on you i don't think so in this day of technology you can avoid it but i will still give you some tips again for starters there is a way to check on your smartphone but you have to put in some effort link can be found in the description of this video then of course you can always throw away your phone get a new one leave your phone at home when you're going outside if you want and because i do make videos on custom roms routing if you have a device which is jailbroken or rooted all i can say is do not go to shady websites do not click on random links do not install pirated apps or cracked apps who knows what payload they might deliver to you and again routing in itself is not dangerous over here right why because they have zero day exploits which can root or jailbreak your ios and android without you even knowing it so they can do it if they want it so you running a rooted device already doesn't like make any difference it just makes it easier for them if they have to spy on you but considering they are using what is known as zero day exploits which are worth millions of dollars because pegasus itself is worth millions of dollars should say something about the world in which we are living right now